In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a system of linear equations by comparison. Uh, in other words, uh, you'll find where two linear equations cross uh, using the comparison method. Okay, so here's an example. The question asks us, where do these lines intersect? And then it specifies that we should solve by comparison. So our two lines are y equals 2x plus 4 and y equals negative x minus 5. So solving with comp by comparison is an algebraic method, but before I start, I'm going to just draw a sketch to get some idea, because it's easy to make little algebraic calculations, um, calculation mistakes, and if we have a sketch, um, it reduces the chance that we'll make those mistakes, and it increases the chance that we'll catch them quickly if we do. Okay, so the first equation is y equals 2x plus 4. So this is slope-intercept um, form. So our slope is 2, and the y-intercept is 4. So I put my 4 about here. The slope of 2 means for every unit I go over, I'll go up 2. So it looks sort of like this. y equals 2x plus 4. And then my other equation is y equals negative x, take away 5. So my y-intercept is negative 5. And my slope is negative 1. So go up one and back one. So this is just definitely just a sketch. Um, now it's hard, my estimate of this, we know if this is 5, it looks like my y value might be about negative 1. Sorry, this is negative 5, of course. And then my x value might be this much is 4, so it might be about negative 4, negative 1. Something like that. Um, so we use this to get an estimate. If we solve for the first variable, I think we'll end up solving for, for x first. If we get an answer like like 4, like positive 4, or an answer like 0 or 2 or something, we know that that's wrong. If we get an answer like negative 3 or negative 5 or 6 or negative, negative 2 even, that might well be right. Okay, So this just gives us an estimate of what kind of answer we're looking for. Okay. So the comparison method, you can use if you've got two linear equations, and if they both have one of the variables isolated as the same one. The most common time that we'll have, use this is if we have two linear equations that are both in the y equals form, often y equals mx plus b. Maybe I'll just give these names. We'll call that one number one and that one number two. Okay, so we do have both of these two things equal, and since both of these are equal to y, then what I can do with that is I can set these two right-hand sides equal to each other. This only works because they're equal to the same thing. Okay, So if we had x equals something for both equations, we could do it. But if we didn't have one side of the equation that was identical, we cannot do it. Okay. So I'm going to set these two right-hand sides equal to each other. So I have 2x plus 4 equals negative x, take away 5. And now I just have a linear, little linear equation in one variable to solve. Um, so I'll just rearrange this until I get x equals something. Uh, probably I'll add x to both sides. So this on the right hand side just gives me negative 5. And over here I have 3x plus 4. And then I'll subtract 4 from both sides. So I have 3x equals negative 9, divide both sides by 3. x equals negative 3. And this is a good place to stop and compare to the sketch and see if it's reasonable. My estimate, oh I should maybe mark this right here as an estimate. My estimate was that x was negative 4, x is negative 3, so things are going really well so far. Okay. And now we've got one of the x values. It feels a little bit like we're done, but we're not actually done because we also have to find the y value at this point. So substitute x equals negative 3 into, and then you can solve, substitute it into either equation. It doesn't matter, whichever one, you're, whichever one you feel like it. Like uh, I'll substitute it into number 1, I guess. So we have y equals... 2x, but I'm substituting x equals negative 3, plus 4. So that gives me negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. 
And if I go back to check my estimate, my estimate was maybe that y was equal to negative 1. So this is really close, so that's totally cool. Okay, so now we're done, except that we just have to write a quick conclusion. Um, the lines intersect at the point x, y equals, so our x is negative 3, and the y value is negative 2. Okay, that's it. Good luck with it.